Good afternoon, and or good morning, I should say, and welcome to WRMG TV 12, TV 97's coverage. Uh, Tishmingo County and Phil Camel softball this morning. We're live at David Tiffin Field, and the big tournament here going on in Red Bay. I want to say thanks, uh, first of all, to all the folks involved in putting this tournament on, all the coaching staff here at Red Bay and all the folks that are involved in it. You guys and ladies did a wonderful job putting this tournament on. We really appreciate it. Also, big special thanks to Jax of Red Bay for uh, sponsoring this tournament. And we really appreciate Jackson and Red Bay. They do a, a great job and appreciate them helping out and making this tournament even a better experience for all the folks here at the game. Phil Campbell will bat first, and the first pitch is a strike. We're not only on TV 12, TV 97 today, but we're doing a little bit different. We're on Facebook Live today as well with this broadcast. So you folks over in Iuka, make sure you spread the news about uh, the game being on the air today. We're going to do both ball games. First game here, of course, is the uh, Phil Camel and Tish County game. Tish County had two big wins yesterday over at that Northeast Tournament. There's a foul ball down the right side. Phil Camel batting first. Katie Thomas leading it off. Mackenzie Scott is on deck. Today's game brought to you by Iuka Discount Drugs and Iuka Monument Company. They're located right next to each other. Ground ball to the right side. Second baseman's got it. Over to first in time for the out. Score that one four to three. And the Tish County Braves has got one out against the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. Over beyond the mound pitching for Tish County today. Behind the plate is Miss Busby. Over be a look. She's ready to go for Mackenzie Scott and the pitch on the way. It's a strike on the inside part of the play. You got Brosie down at first, uh, down at second base. You got, of course, uh, Mr. All or Miss Albany Marlin down there. And the pitch on the way, swing and a foul ball to the right side. That one's going to be backing out of play. With the Red Bay Softball Tournament, I'm Jack Ivey live here today. I know a lot of folks uh, didn't know we was going to do the Facebook Live today, but uh, if you'll do me a favor right now and share this link, we surely would appreciate it. Hooper over at third base, and you got uh, center over at uh, shortstop today. Pitch on the way. It's outside. Looking to the outfield. Perkins in left field. Your center fielder is Miranda Nash, and over in right field today is Johnson. Reese is your DP player today. As Albany the Marlin is the flex player, playing out at second. That even up the count, two balls and two strikes and one out. We're live in Red Bay, Alabama today. Home of the Red Bay Tigers. And the pitch on the way, it's outside. Coaches had some of the folks Tish County saying how much improvement they had seen other, you know, since they played earlier in the year, a summer, y'all play them in the summer, I guess here. Talking about how much better it even looked uh, from the summer. So, And there's a ball four. So a walk for the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. So they'll have a run it out at first with one out. Leah Jackson will be your batter. She's the shortstop for the ball club from Phil Campbell, Alabama. No score in the ball game just start. Tish County's going to play two games back to back. And we'll have them both for you right here. And there's a swing and a shot to left field. That one is foul and out of play. Overby is a right handed pitcher. Tish County played two big games yesterday. Phil Campbell played one here last night against, I believe, Hamilton. Tish County winning 4 to 2 over Mount Julia, Tennessee, then a walk off homer. And there's a ground ball foul down the third base side. So the count is no balls and two strikes and one out. Top of the first inning, live. Coach uh, Jerry Long, the head coach for the ball club from Tish County. Assistant coaches Charlotte Southward and C.G. Martin. C.G. Marlin, I should say. And Mr. Kevin Center. And the pitch on the way. He is outside. There's a throw down to first. Runner safely back in there. Ball kind of got away a little bit down at first base from Brianna Brosey. 
So now they count one ball and two strikes. Today's game brought to you by Williams Service Center, Mr. Todd Williams. And right next door to Todd, of course, is the world-famous CarQuest Auto Parts Store, Harwell. And there's a ball outside. Two balls and two strikes. No score in the ball game. Today's game also brought to you by Nunley Trucking Company, Daryl and Harold Nunley. Daryl and Herman there, we appreciate you very much. 424-0080. Here's the 2-2 pitch about to come up with one out. Runner at first, Phil Campbell, it's outside. There's your pitcher right there. Three balls and two strikes. And the pitch is a ball high. And a walk for the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. You're watching the Tishomingo County Lady Braves and the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats win the big tournament over in Red Bay today. Doing a little Facebook Live. We did one of the games last night. There's a ground ball. Slow roller. Pitchers got it. Throw over to first in time for the out. The runners will advance over to second and third. There's your runner down at third for Phil Campbell and the runner down at second. So right now there's two out. Phil Campbell with runners in scoring position down at second and third. As Abby Davis grounded out, one to three. This will bring up Chloe Robinson, the number five hitter. She'll be batting with two out, no score in the game. And the overby pitch swing and a shot to right field. That one is curving foul and out in foul territory. The right fielder couldn't get to it. It was still in the field, but uh, didn't get totally out of the park or anything. But A lot of speed on the bases for the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. One strike count. On deck is Olivia Bright. So Robinson, the ready, and there's a shot to the right side. This one is fouled. This one will get out of play. Your coach for the Phil Camel, Lady Bobcats. Appreciate Coach Doug down there and the pitch outside. Appreciate also John Dennis Darty, you Tishomingo County Sheriff on our broadcast here today. And the pitch on the way. Swing ground ball to the right side. Tish County should be out of the inning. Throw over to first. Score that one four to three. A couple of runners stranded by the ball club from Phil Campbell. And we have played a half inning. It's the Tishomingo County Braves coming to bat. And we have no score. We're live in Red Bay at the Red Bay Tournament here today on WRMG. Jack Ivey once again live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're live, of course, in Red Bay today. Today's game brought to you by Ronnie Cook, your Modern Woman agent. You know, this game, of course, uh, always brought to you by Modern Woman. They sponsor all of our games all over the county and even down in Red Bay, Alabama, to plan for your financial future and learn more about member benefits. Uh, call Ronnie Cook, 423-8477, and start that conversation today. Ronnie Cook, your Modern Woodman agent. And there is a pop, and that one's going to be foul back and out of play. Tishmingo County batting. Here in the bottom of the first inning, they'll lead it off with Miranda Nash, the center fielder. Hope you're enjoying our coverage here. We had not had a chance to look at our Facebook account to see how many folks we got live, but you uh, Tish County fans that are watching, if y'all will share it, we'll find there's a shot to right field. Boy, the center field, the center fielder let it bounce right by her and go to the wall. Should have been a base hit, but uh, that ball, when it bounced, uh, went right past the center fielder there. 
And Miranda Mash, Nash is down at second base with a laid off hit. And this young lady right here showed out against Brighton, Tennessee yesterday. She had a walk off home run in the bottom of the fifth inning to give the, this is young lady that had the walk off homer yesterday. She showed, a, she showed a bunt yesterday like that and then backed up and jacked it over the fence. So Tishmingo County has got Nash down at second base. Well, that man right there, Coach Jerry Long. Got the world famous Coach Southward down at first base there. And here's the pitch on the way. It's a strike call. Sweeney, the pitcher. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to center fielder. Center fielder is back and is going to make the catch. Nash will tag up and slide into third with no problem. Coach Jerry Long talking to Nash down at third base now. She is there with one out. Macy Busby would be the batter. And the pitch on the way. It's in the dirt. Like I say, we haven't had a chance to look down to see how many folks we might have watching us. But uh, don't forget this game and the next game as well will be on Facebook Live. And the pitch on the way. Belmont Baseball is playing in Red Bay today at 12 o'clock against, I think they play Red Bay and Northside today. We've got a crew over there that will have those games for you. You'll be able to watch those later on TV 12 and TV 97, also on our YouTube channel later. There's the pitch on the way, swing, and a pop-up to short center field. That one's trouble. It drops in there for a hit. Tish County will score a run. And that one dropped right in. To a great spot right there for Tishomingo County. So good job there by Busby to get a hit. The catcher, this will bring up Caitlin Center, the shortstop. She's batting in the cleanup spot today. This is Tishomingo County Braves fast pitch softball. Tish County stealing the base. The throw down there is not going to be in time. So Tish County's got a run down at a runner down at second base. One run is in with one out. One ball, no strikes to center. Center right-handed batter for the Tish County Braves. And the pitch on the way. This is an early morning start. There's a shot down the third base side foul. This was a nine o'clock start this morning. Coach Jerry Long, of course, coached baseball for many years. He coached on the slow pitch side and took over the fast pitch this year. And the pitch on the way. It's a ball high. Two balls, one strike, and one out. Live coverage here in Red Bay on the Saturday here. And the pitch on the way. It's inside. Once again, a special thanks to Jax down in Red Bay, Alabama for helping sponsor this tournament. So, Miss Osborne, you and all the folks at Jax, we really appreciate you very much for your help in helping sponsor this tournament. Three balls, one strike, one out, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to the left side. That one is foul. So they got the ball back in. Three balls, one strike, one out. We're in the bottom of the first inning. Tishomingo County leading Phil Campbell by a score of one to nothing. Of course, I had the field covered last night. I'm not sure even how much it rained, to be honest with you. Overnight. I wouldn't wait to find out. Three balls, two strikes. We're ready to go. Caitlin center the batter. And the pitch on the way. It's low for ball four. So Tish County has got a runner now at first and second. And 
And Ashland Overby, the pitcher, will bat. Bailey Reese is on deck. Don't forget, if you'd like to get a copy of this game or any of the games we do, they're always available on DVD. You can message me on Facebook or send me a message at 662-423-7602. Your pitcher for the Tish County Braves batting. This is Overby. She's got a 1-0 count. Tish County's got runners at first and second. And there's a pop foul back in out of play. And here's the 1-1 one, one pitch. It's a ball high. Tish County's been able to put one run across the plate here. They had some early games yesterday down in Boone and early games here in Red Bay today. And there's a shot right back up the middle and the second baseman's got it and out at second base on the force. So Abby Davis doing a good job making that play down at second base. As that ball was hit right back up the middle, she was able to get over there in time. All she had to do pretty much was pick it up and step on the bag and got the force out. So Overby is safe down at first base on a fielder's choice, and we've got two outs, one run in. And Bailey Reese is the batter. Bailey wears number three for your Tish County Braves. Tish County's got runners at first and third. One ball, no strikes. Reese ready to go. Here's the pitch on the way from Sweeney. And the runner stealing there without a throw. So one to nothing to score, bottom of the first inning. Sweeney on the mound for Phil Campbell. Tishomingo County's got a one nothing lead here in the bottom of the first inning. Sweeney looks in, she's got the signal. She'll bring it to the plate, swing and a ground ball. Shortstop's got it, throw to first in time. Now. Tish County will strand a couple of runners, but they score one run. And after one inning, lead the ball game by a score of one to nothing. If you're after joining us on our broadcast, appreciate you being with us here today on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. We're live in Red Bay today. All made possible by some great Tishomingo County sponsors, including Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector, by Milligan and Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North. Also, I want to thank Hometown Pizza down in Burnsville, located at 343 Highway 72 East in the Burnsville Shopping Center. Home owned and home operated there, of course. We appreciate Regina and James Smith, the owners there. Also want to thank uh, all the folks uh, at Sid's Trading Company. Sid's, of course, is uh, owned by the Mr. Sid Whitehurst. And they got, of course, a brand new location out on Highway 72. Got the Skag Moors and the Coyote tractors. They got, of course, the Branson tractors, all the accessories to go with all the stuff out there. Two locations, Highway 25 South and also on Highway 72. Also want to thank Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi, along with Mac Wyman, your Tishomingo County Corner. Also, Gatlin's Pharmacy, Mr. Stanley Page down in Tishomingo. MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply, got the safety vest, high visibility vest, t shirts, safety glasses, earplugs, and much more. Got your custom signs and decals and banners. In business now for over 40 years, 1 800 647 8168. It's MTS, formerly Mississippi Tool Supply. And also, big shout out to all the folks down in, at B&J Supermarket in Burnsville, Highway 365, open seven days a week. Your hometown store where prices are low 52 weeks of the year. Fresh produce, awesome meat, got a great dairy department, just a great shopping experience at B&J's. Also, big shout out today to Triple D's Bucket Service. That's Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. They'll meet all your high reach needs. 662 279 7500. John White, your attorney at law, along with Iuco Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins, located Highway 25 South, Healthcare, Grooming, and Boarding, by Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk. All on a broadcast here today. We're back in the top of the second inning. And a ground ball back to Overby. Overby's throw over to first. In time for the out. So the first batter for the Phil Camel Lady Bobcats is down. 
And that happened to be Olivia Knight. Here's Darby Elliott. Darby playing out in the left field for Phil Campbell today. Over beyond the mound pitching. She's got a 1-0 lead for Tish County. Showing a bunt, it's foul. Top of the second inning. Send us a message and let us know how our Facebook Live looks on your screen out there and also how it sounds. We're I ain't had a chance to really check it or anything like that because we're doing not only that broadcast, but we're doing a TV broadcast as well. We decided instead of streaming today, we'd go the Facebook Live route and give you a chance to even see the game. We just got the iPad set up. There's a shot to the right side. That's in there for hit. It's going down to the corner. She'll get at least two. And she's in standing up down at second base with a stand-up double. That's Darby Elliott for the... Phil Campbell, Lady Bobcats. They got a runner down there with one out. Nice double there. Sweeney, the pitcher, will be the batter next. Emmy Emily's does a great job for this uh, Phil Campbell ball club. Twenty-seven-seven-three is the code this time. I wonder what that is. She's batting with one out. She shows a bunt, and it's going to be a foul. See, Brother David Conley out is, was checking us out down in Dennis, Mississippi, and also Miss Paulette Massey out there. We'll try to see some of the other folks that's watching. There's a fly ball foul to the right side. Tish County leading one to nothing. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. And the pitch on the way, swing and a miss for the strikeout. Good pitch by Overby that time. So Tish County's got two out. Phil Campbell's got a runner. So Harris will bat right now. Casey, a left-hander. Bats with two out. Sun popping out through some partly cloudy skies on this Saturday in Red Bay, Alabama. Here's the pitch on the way. Swing and a slow roller foul down the third base side. So Phil Campbell threatening a little bit, but... Uh, Right now, they've got two out, but a runner down at uh, second base. And there's a shot to the shortstop. Shortstop's got it. Throw to first. And it's low and gets away. And guess what? A run's going to score. And it goes into the dugout. So she'll end up down at second base. So Tish County looked to be out of the inning. And a uh, low throw gets uh, by the first baseman over there. And... Uh, now we've got the Tish County Braves and the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats all tied up. Back to the top of the batting order. Here's uh, Katie Thomas. Mascot will be on deck for Phil Campbell. All tied up. And the pitch is a ball outside. Live coverage here with Jack Ivey on your Saturday in Red Bay. Phil Campbell one, Tishomingo County one. And there's a ground ball right back to the pitcher. The throw to first in time of the out. County, the inning is over. So we've played an inning and a half. It's a one-to-one -one ball game. Tish County will bat in the bottom of the second inning. Today's game brought to you by Hometown Pizza down in Iuka, located at 621 Battleground. Regina and James Smith are your owners there. Don't forget pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, hoagies. Now offering that crustless pizza for the dieters who don't like so much bread. We'll also have a 20-inch party pizza 
Open Saturday through Wednesday, 3 to 9. Thursday and Friday, 11 to 9. They're closed on Monday. We're talking hometown pizza in Iuka. Over at Iuka location is carry out only 662 593 3036. Home owned and home operated once again. And of course, you need to give Miss Brittany and all the crew a call there to make that order. 662 593 3036. And that's hometown pizza in Iuka. Thank you, Miss Regina and James Smith, the owners of hometown pizza. We're going to check out our Facebook Live broadcast. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. And uh, you folks, uh, oh, Randy Bolton out there checking us out. Also watching live with the Ivy Man is Mr. Blake Long out there tonight. Thank you, Blake. We appreciate you checking us out. And uh, we're actually doing our, of course, Blake, you know how we do our TV broadcast and everything else. And uh, we've just got the iPad set up here in the window and showing the all the feel that we can get on the shot there. So we really can't operate them both here and do both of them at one time. We're not quite as talented as Blake, but um, we hope you're enjoying it. Uh, Y'all let me know how it looks wherever you're watching the game. Don't forget we'll have the second uh, TC game on Facebook Live as well. But uh, right now we're moving to the bottom of the second inning. So I need comments to let me know how the broadcast looks wherever you're at. We appreciate it. Here's the first pitch and it's a base hit to left field. And the Tish County Braves get off to a good start here in the bottom of the second inning. That was uh, Miss Brianna Brosey. We better get a shot of Brianna over there. I didn't even tell, she, tell you who she was. I was talking about the Facebook broadcast, and there she is right there talking to Coach Southward down at first base. Maddie Johnson, the batter, the right fielder batting with nobody out, runner down at first base. And the pitch, ball outside. Showed a bunt. Megan Perkins will be your next batter. Megan playing out in left field today. And the pitch on the way. Swing, slow roller. Well, will it hit her out of the box? No, she must have been in the box, so they said foul ball. They had a big question about that last night, a little controversial play on the up last night and come out, said she was out of the box. And, of course, that one was pretty close right there, but the official right on the mark. Coach, uh, coach talking to the umpire here. Now he's going to go talk to the other umpire to see if he can get a confirmation, but I'm not sure that guy can help out any. So he's already called it a, a foul ball. He said she was in the box, so it'll be a foul ball, but. At least they're talking to each other. That's the main thing. They'll put their heads together and come up with a call. And now Coach Long not, not pleased with the play because they've changed it. So he explains it to coach, and coach accepts it and goes back. So they do call her out. And this will bring up number 14, Megan Perkins. So here's the pitch on the way. You know, the call was that it was a foul off of her in the batter's box. And then he ended up changing it and calling her out. So I don't know what the deal there is. One ball and no strikes. And there's the pitch. This is Perkins batting with two balls and no strike. One out. One to one the score. Tish County with a runner down at first with a one out. Megan Perkins, the left fielder of the batter. There's the pitch by Sweeney. It's in there for a strike. Ball, 
Two balls and a strike right here. Let's see what Coach Long's got up his sleeve here. There's a swing and a miss. Brozia down at first base. Brianna led this inning off with a nice base hit to left field. We're all tied up uh, with a score of one to one. I'm Jack Ivey live in Red Bay. Thanks to all of our great sponsors that make this game possible here today. There's the pitch swing and a ground ball off the pitcher's glove. Shortstop's got it. Still plenty of time to throw to first in time for the out. Good job by Jackson down at shortstop to finish that play as it went off the glove of Sweeney. And this will bring up number 11. We're back to the top of the batting order. This is Miranda Nash. Batting with a runner down at second and two out, all tied up one to one. We're in the bottom of the second inning. We're in Red Bay, Alabama, at the Red Bay Invitational Tournament here. Swing and a shot to right field. That one's in fair territory. Right fielder goes back and makes the catch for the out. That'll be the third out of the inning. And of course, the Braves will strand a base runner. And we've played two innings. It's the Tishomingo County Braves and the Phil Camel Bobcats, they're all tied up by a score of one-to-one. -one. If you're out there joining us on the broadcast, appreciate you being with us here tonight on WRNG TV 12 and also Television 97. All you folks that's joining us on Facebook Live, we appreciate you being with us here today. Stay tuned. we got the third inning coming up. Ready to start to the top of the third inning. Jack Ivey live here for WRMG. Phil Campbell batting, and there's a fly ball to right field. That one is going to be trouble, but guess what? The right fielder back to make an awesome catch, and she caught that one on the run. I'm telling you, that was a really nice play out in right field by your Tishmingo County Lady Braves. That right fielder making that great play out there is Miss Johnson. So good job there for the Tish County Braves. So Maddie Johnson making the great play as we start the second batter of the inning right here with one out. Overby on the mound pitching for Tish County. We're all tied up one to one. And the pitch on the way, swing and a miss. So a nice drive there by Scott, but caught. This is a Jackson batting. One to one the score. And the pitch on the way. It's a ball. Ball one, strike one, one out. Top of the third inning. Phil Camel, Lady Bobcats batting against Tishomingo County. And the one one pitch is a ball. You're watching us on Facebook Live. We really do appreciate you joining us. You could do me a big favor by sharing that link so more folks can watch it. And the pitch on the way. He is a little bit outside. Two balls, one strike, and one out. Overby's got the signal there as the pitch on the way. Swing and a drive to center field. Center fielder back, and that one is out of here, folks. I'm talking about way out of the ballpark on top of the building across the way. And that was a mighty, mighty good hit there from Miss Jackson, Leah Jackson. Awesome job there taking that ball for the big horn. And a lot of celebration going on for the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats as Jackson takes that one deep. And somebody retrieving the ball out there and they're gonna throw it back in and I guess Jackson might want that one. As she took it out of the park, but I don't think she's gonna get it. They're gonna bring it back into the field of play. They'll throw that ball back in. So Phil Campbell has taken a two to one lead after the Jackson home run. This will bring up Abby Davis for the Bobcats. 
and the pitch on the way. Swing and a line shot off the third baseman's glove. Shortstop picks it up and throws it, but not going to be nowhere near in time. So an infield hit by Davis and Phil Camel. We'll have another batter coming up here. Chloe Robinson is going to be the batter. So Phil Campbell's got a runner at first with one out. They lead by two to one. And the pitch on the way, swing and a miss. Good pitch there by Overby. Busby behind the plate. And the pitch on the way, swing and a slow roller back to the pitcher. They'll throw it down to second, but it's going to be late. Overby turned and nobody was there yet, so they had to wait on somebody to get there. So they didn't get the for sure out. Coach uh, Long not wanting her to do that. He wanted to get that for sure out over at first base. And right now, runners at first and second with the one out for the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. Olivia Bright will be the batter. And the pitch on the way. Shows a bunt and pulls it back, but it is going to be a strike. So if you just joined us, we have got uh, the top of the third inning, Tish County and Phil Campbell. Phil Campbell is taking a 1-0 lead with the Jackson home run. And they got runners at first and second and another ball. One ball, one strike, and one out. Wind picking up just a little bit here on a partly cloudy Saturday. And there's a ground ball to the right side. Tags the runner, throws to first. Double play. Braves are out of the inning. Phil Campbell will strand a couple of runners. And just like that, the inning is over. Two to one the score. Phil Campbell leads the Tishomingo County Braves. We're going to the bottom of the inning. We're live on WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Once again, a big special thanks to all of our great sponsors, including Davis Ford down in Fulton, Mississippi. Mr. Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancery Clerk, also your Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. TVA will come do an energy audit. That's a part of the TVA's e-program. For more information, call 662-423-3646 during normal business hours. Also want to thank uh, the Pickley Wiggly stores and Red Bay, Belmont, and Iuka, Grace Long Real Estate. Also, H&R Block of Iuka, Red Bay, and Fulton. Also on the broadcast here today is Iuka Discount Drugs, Pharmacy Gifts, and much, much more. Got the drive-in window. Pharmacist Chris Kniason, Kirk Butler, and the staff. You can reach them at 662-423-9039. That's Iuka Discount Drugs. And also, don't forget Iuka Monument Company right next to Iuka Discount Drugs. Highest quality, of course, reasonable prices, 662-423-3203. That's Iuka Monument Company. We're moving to the bottom of the third inning, 2-1 to one, Phil Camel leads, and Tishomingo County Braves will be batting. Big special thanks to Jacks down in Red Bay, Alabama, for sponsoring this tournament. And we appreciate Miss Osborne and their great staff for doing such a wonderful job all the time. I want to say hello to Alex Martin after checking us out on Facebook Live tonight. Miss Rhonda Combs checking us out. She's up in uh, northern Kentucky uh, checking us out. Also, Mr. Gary Blackburn. Somebody said he was out there watching tonight. Daniel A-Day out there watching us. Uh, also, Mr. Ray Payton checking out. Music Gaylor over in Iuka checking us out as well. So we're on Facebook Live with Tishomingo County Fast Pit Softball today. And the pitch on the way he is a strike on the corner. Hooper, the batter, she, Randall, she took one for uh, out of the park for a walk-off homer yesterday. Braves won one to nothing over Brighton, Tennessee. Good pitch there by Sweeney. One ball, two strikes, the count, nobody out. Bottom of the third inning. And the pitch, swing and a ground ball. Jackson's got it at short, the throw to first, in time for the out. Good job by Jackson. Down at shortstop. Yeah. 
Macy Busby, the catcher. She can definitely put it over the big blue building out there. She'll be batting with one out. Tish County trailing by a score of two to one. You ready to do some Belmont and Red Bay baseball? North side. And the pitch on the way. Here's a ball, huh? And the pitch on the way. Swing and a pop and foul back. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to the left side. That's in there for a base hit for Tishomingo County. Number 25 batting there for the Braves, of course. Busby getting the hit. Guess we can get you a little bit better shot of Miss Busby down there. We're able to kind of shoot around that pole there just a little bit. So Caitlin Center will be the batter. She's down at shortstop today. Or at, take that back. Yes, yeah, she's at shortstop today. One ball, no strikes, one out. Busby, the runner down at first base. Two to one, Phil Campbell leads. And there's a shot to left field. That ball is way back. And the left fielder on the warning track has got it for the out. She kind of got it off the handle a little bit. She didn't get it on the big part of the bat, and or she would have took that one out of the ballpark. Overby will be the batter now. She is the pitcher for Tish County today. Today's game brought to you by Modern Woodman of America, Mr. Runny Cook. Runny Cook can be reached at 662-423-8477. Runner stealing the throw down to second, and she is going to be out of there. Good chunk down there by the Phil Camel Lady Bobcats, and that will retire the side. Two to one, the score. We're going to the top of the fourth. This is Tishomingo County Braves Fast Pitch Softball. I'm Jack Ivey live on WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Also, we're on Facebook Live today. Thank you, folks, for checking us out. That's watching the games tonight. I want to say hello to Mr. David Brown out there checking in with us. Also, Mr. Gary McKinney checking us out. If you have not checked in, let us know that you're out there watching the game, and we surely appreciate it. Of course, we do the games on uh, TV 12 and Red Bay Channel 97 over in Tishomingo County if you got Max South Broadband Cable. We'll also have this on our YouTube channel as well. I want to say hello to Mr. Zach Ziarko out there tonight. Thank you, Zach. Got old Rick Carter out there checking us out tonight. Brother David Conley, Paulette Massey, Philip Scott checking us out tonight. Miss Wanda Sparks Winstead. Told you about Mr. Blake Long out there tonight. Mr. Al McLean out there. Also, uh, Hope Connor Rock checking us out. Bailey Bullock Durham. An old Tish County Bray there. Miss Debbie Crane Kendall out there tonight. Mr. William Tracy Arnold uh, checking us out over in Boonville. Morgan Poole out there checking it out. Austin Golson who's uh, probably going to be playing in the NFL next year for the big lineman for the Auburn Tigers. He watches us a lot. Austin, glad to have you out there checking us out today on WRMG. Also, Preston Allen checking out. Shelton Oaks over in Iuka. Mr. Homer Neal checking us out. Also, Matt McCracken watching the game tonight. Mr. Brian Burge checking us out. Toby Gray. Also, Bella Moody checking us out. Uh, Chad Moses. Also, Dara Roberts checking us out. Olivia Rooker. Also, Julia Alexander-Williams, Alicia Dill-Whitaker out there, Randy Bolton, Billy Pfeiffer, 
uh, checking us out. Mr. Andy Deaton, also Mr. Robert Yarbrough down in Louisville, Mississippi. Kim Pounders out there tonight, and also Miss Bunny Riley all checking us out on Facebook Live. So we've got a lot of folks uh, watching us today all over the country here. Phil Campbell bats here in the top of the fourth inning. They've got a two-to-one lead. As they caught the Braves trying to steal to end the last inning. That's a good throw down by the catcher for the Phil Campbell Bobcats, Miss Thompson. So Phil Campbell's number 17 batting. Fouls that one back and out of play. Darby Elliott batting. She's got an 0-2 count. Two strike count, 2-1 two Phil Campbell. Top of the fourth inning and the pitch on the way. It's outside. Hey, Coach, what kind of time limit are we playing today? Seventy-five minutes. No, they'll let them finish the inning. But uh, let's say an inning finishes and we've played seventy-two minutes, like last night. They will not start an inning if it's only five minutes to go. So, so they're going to keep her going here today. The strikeout by Overby. Sweeney will be the batter. She's the pitcher and the overby pitch. Swing and a shot to the right side. That one's going to get down there for a hit. Right fielder does a good job getting that ball back in. Phil Campbell still leads 2-1. to one. We're live in Red Bay. The wind blowing kind of left to right. I've enjoyed baseball and softball in a lot worse weather than this. This is nice. You need to get out to the ballpark today. Might bring you a light jacket if you're in the shade. But uh, I think you're going to enjoy it. Got a lot of concessions here helping out the softball program. One ball, no strikes, one out, and the pitch, and a swing, and a foul ball. So Harris, the batter, with one ball and one strike. Casey, the DP player today. And the pitch is low and in the dirt. Thanks to all you folks that are Picking up copies of the game. If you'd like to get a copy of this game or any of the games we do, they're available on DVD. Swing, slow roller. Second baseman's got it. And the throw to first. And safe at second. She missed the tag. It's going to second. Now Coach Long going out questioning that call. Coach thought they had tagged the runner going to second. And the throw to first would have been a double play, but he called the runner going to second safe. Katie Thomas will be the batter here with a runner down at second base and two out. Swing, ground ball, third baseman got it. They throw to first in time for the out to retire the side. We're going to the bottom of the fourth. It's still a Phil Camel lead. Over the Tishomingo County Braves, the score is 2-1. to one. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and also Television 97. Today's game brought to you by Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector by Milligan Ready Mix. Also, don't forget Harwell Parts and Service, your CarQuest dealer, located at 1102 Quitman Street. Mr. Chad, thank you so much, 423-9892. And also, Hometown Pizza down in Burnsville, Mississippi, located 343 Highway 72 in the Burnsville Shopping Center. We got pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, breads. We got the hoagies and the salad bar now offering the crustless pizza. They're open daily, 11 to 9. 
Monday through Friday, you got the lunch buffet from 11 to 1, and the Sunday buffet is 11 to 2. The buffet includes now pizza, the pasta, the salad, and the drink. You can dine in or carry out 662-360-4019. That's Regina and James Smith. Thank you so much. they got a location not only in Burnsville but in Iuka. And also don't forget over in Cherokee, Alabama, it's hometown pizza. Also, Sid's Trading Company, of course, your Kiati Tractor and Skagmore dealer out on Highway 72, 424-0025. And don't forget Sid's regular location, the original, down on Highway 25 South, and, of course, the new location on 72. Both of them, of course, can get you fixed up with those Branson tractors and Landmaster Utility Vehicle dealers or maybe some of those Bush Hog Zero Turn more. Also, big shout-out today to Davis Ford, in business in 50 years plus now, northeast Mississippi's oldest Ford dealer. Mac Wilm in your Tishomingo County corner. Good luck to the Braves tonight from Gatlin's Pharmacy. Mr. Stanley Page, I saw a picture of Stanley Page in his shorts down in Disney World the other day, all the family down there. I know they was having a great time. So, Stanley, thank you and all the folks at Gatlin's Pharmacy for making this game possible here today. Well, Tish County right now with Overby leading it off here in the bottom of the fourth, trailing two to one in a, in a good one. There's a pitch to Overby. She'll foul that ball back to the right side. One ball, one strike, and nobody out. Bottom of the fourth inning. Sweeney's still on the mound for the Bobcats, and there's the pitch outside. Didn't miss, miss much, but it was a, just a little outside. We're right, uh, I'm talking about, I'm uh, exactly behind the bag. And the pitch on the way. That one hit the inside corner. Two balls and two strikes, and the pitch on the way. Inside, pop down to the third baseman. It's an out. So Overby pops out to the third baseman. Appreciate uh, Miss Keisha Bearden out there checking us out tonight. Also, Mr. Darrell Ryan Kane, Chastity Williams watching. Miss Opal Loveless out there checking us out. She says, let's go Braves. Two to one the score, one out. And the Braves batting here in the bottom of the fourth inning, trailing two to one. And the pitch on the way, swing ground ball to the right side. Second baseman's got it, throw over to first in time for the out. So Bailey Reese is out. No, I've already got it ready. So two outs here. Number six, Brianna Brosey batting. Batting with two outs. This game moving right along in a hurry. We're approaching an hour. Keep in mind, we play 75 minutes on the time limit today. There's the pitch on the way. It's outside. So the Braves probably going to get um, one more at bat. Could be more, depending on how fast it goes. But uh, you could say Braves got maybe four more outs. And trailing two to one. There's a ball. They might like to get a rally going right here. Two balls and no strikes and two outs. And the pitch on the way. It's a ball high, ball three. So Brosie the batter, Johnson is on deck. And the 3-0 pitch is a strike call. And here's the pitch on the way. Swing ground ball to the third baseman. The throw to first. In time of the out. Braves will end the inning in the fourth. And without getting a run, it's still 2-1. to one. We're going to the top of the fifth. You're watching Tish County Braves and Phil Campbell fast pitch softball on WRMG. Jack Ivey live here in Red Bay. Don't forget, big special thanks to Jacks down in 
Red Bay, Alabama, of course, for making this game possible today. Also, a big shout-out to MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply. They're located, by the way, down in the big city of Belmont. Uh, they got the safety apparel, the high-visibility vest, T-shirts, also your banners. Been in business now for over 40 years. 1-800-647-8168. And also a big shout-out today to the folks down at B&J Supermarket down in Burnsville, Mississippi. Over be warming up. Moving to the fifth inning. Phil Campbell batting here. First batter is number nine. This is Mackenzie Scott, Leah Jackson, who homered will be on deck. And the pitch on the way, a shot to right field. That one's in there for base hit. Right fielder did a job knocking it down. Not going to be a real close play at second, even though Tish County right fielder did an awesome job getting it in, considering she fell down when she fielded it, trying to cut it off over there. Made it a little bit closer than I thought it was going to be, but uh, down at second base with a double is Scott. Here is Leah Jackson. Boy, she took this ball deep, and they're going to walk her. So an intentional walk against Jackson. And this will bring up number 34. So Abby Davis will be the batter. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot to right field. That one's in there for a hit. That one is going to score a run easily. And they are really runners at first and third. There's your runner. Third ball gets away. Here comes the play at the plate. And she is going to be safe. And the runner advances down to second. So so Tish County giving up a couple of runs here in the top of the fifth inning to the Phil Camel Bobcats. And Phil Camel now leads 4-1 to one with nobody out. So the Braves got a few lug nuts on the tire a little loose right now. They trail 4-1 to one in the top of the fifth inning. Got her joining us on the broadcast. Big special thanks to B&J Supermarket down in Burnsville, Mississippi. Thank you folks for watching out here tonight, or this morning, I should say. Got uh, Miss Michelle Ramsey James uh, out there checking us out. Thank you, Miss James. Swing ground ball back to the pitcher. They throw to first. Then the runner will go to third. She's going to be safe over at third. So that will be one out, but to, uh, Phil Campbell will have a runner at third. Olivia Bright will be the batter. Takes the ball. Runner down at third, only one out. Overby's went the entire way for Tish County. Sweeney the entire way for the ball club from Field Camel. Here's the pitch on the way. Swing ground ball, slow one to the right side. Pitcher's got it. Throw to first in time for the out, but a run will score. So 
So 34 comes in to score for Phil Campbell. And that's Davis coming in. Darby Elliott, is that going to be the batter? Two outs now, five to one the score. So Darby Elliott will be the batter. Swing and a pop up to the right side. Second baseman is over, makes the catch for the out to retire the side. But my goodness, three more runs cross the plate for the Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats. They lead the Tish County Braves by a score of five to one, five to one. We're going to the bottom of the fifth. This is WRMG TV 12 and also television 97. Jimmy and Michelle James are watching. Thanks, Jack. Uh, also, Gina Timms Rooker out there. Miss Robin Owens checking us out. Remember, we love to hear the comments to let us know where you're at watching the game and maybe how it looks. We just got the uh, Facebook Live going. We're also doing our TV, regular TV broadcast that you'll watch on Channel 97 and Channel 12 and also on YouTube. That'll be a, a separate broadcast, so we kind of got our hands full today. But a lot of folks I know are out there enjoying the broadcast and uh, – Watching us here. Let's see who else we got. Uh, Mr. Randy Reno out there checking us out tonight. Told you about to Mr. Daryl Ryan Kane out there and of course Miss Chastity out there watching. Thank y'all for watching. This is a live coverage of Red Bay. Uh, Alabama and right now Phil Campbell playing the Tish County Braves in our first game of the day. Tish County will play the next game and then later this evening we'll be back to do the two Red Bay games. I think Red Bay plays Carbon Heights in one of those. Maddie Johnson the batter. Maddie wears number 20 out in right field. And the pitch is a ball high. Five to one, Phil Campbell, the ball inside. Sweeney's still on the mound. Two balls and one strike. And the pitch on the way. Swing ground ball to the shortstop. The throw to first in time for the out. This game, if it lasts just a little bit longer, will be over after this inning. And the pitch on the way. And the ground ball to the third baseman. Throw to first in time of the out. Nice to done. Score that one five to three. I believe uh, Tish County and Hamilton plays next. Hamilton really looked good last night. And the game against Phil Campbell. So time's running out for the Braves here with two out. Batting is number 11. This is Miranda Nash as we've moved back to the top of the batting order. One ball, no strikes, two outs, five to one, Phil Campbell. And the pitch on the way. Here's the ball. There will be some break in between the games, not a whole lot. They'll let the teams, I guess, warm up just a little bit. Of course, the other team that Tish County is going to be playing is after warming up, so I don't know how much time there'll be. You know what? And the pitch on the way. It's inside. How much time are they going to have in, in between games? Won't be very much. We're trying to find out how much they'll come going. There's ball four for Nash drawing a walk. 
So Chiefs County hopes still alive. Number 24. Batting right-handed this time. Anna Hooper. Anna Hooper, the third baseman, does a great job over there. Here's the pitch on the way. The ball inside. She hit that homer yesterday left-handed against Brighton to get a 1-0 win. Right now, Phil Campbell leads 5-1. And the pitch on the way. And it's a foul. Right toward that Phil Campbell dugout. Luckily, it went over. One ball, one strike, two outs. Chase County with a runner, Nash at first base. Hooper fouls that one down the third base side as well. We're at about 70 minutes right now, so this will more than likely be the last batter. And the pitch on the way, ground ball, third baseman's got it. The throw to first. I believe we got a Phil Campbell win. Five to one is your score. Coach uh, Jerry Long congratulating Coach Doug over at Phil Campbell, and we've got a final score. The Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats has knocked off the Tish County Lady Braves. That score is five to one, five to one. We've got more Braves softball coming up in just a second. You folks uh, joining us out there, once again, it's been an honor to bring this game to you. We'll have game two coming up shortly. This is the Ivy Broadcasting Company on location in Red Bay, Alabama. Stay tuned. we got game number two cut up in just a little bit right here on your hometown station. We're going to wait and have prayer with the kiddos out before we end this broadcast right here. The team's getting together out there. And on the pitcher's mound, our favorite part of the game right here. And the teams congratulate each other and having prayer at the pitcher's mound. Once again, your final score was six to one. Five to one, okay. They I thought they changed it. Five to one is you're going to be your final score. Once again, you Phil Campbell Lady Bobcats knocking off the Tish County Braves. Once again, your final score is five to one. Welcome back to Red Bay, Alabama on this, the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Appreciate you being with us on this Saturday. And, of course, we're at the big invitational tournament here today. The Tish County Braves, who just played field camel, is going to take on the Aggies from Hamilton. Be out there joining us on our broadcast. Once again, an honor to have you here today. Tishmingo County will be batting first. Once again, an honor to have you back on Facebook Live. We had, I think, uh, close to 300 people watching last game, and that's pretty doggone good. So guess what? You can actually go back and watch it later if you want to do that as well. So do me a favor. Share this link and let your friends and neighbors know they can enjoy some Tish County and Hamilton fast pitch softball. The first pitch of the game, and it's a ball high. I believe this is Miss Nash. Ground ball right back up the middle. Base hit. That's why she's in that leadoff slot. Getting on base. Miranda Nash with a leadoff base hit. Tish County lost uh, game one by a score of 5-1. to one. Now we got uh, Miss Anna Hooper batting here. We have the roster from last night for Hamilton. We'll double check and see who's pitching right here. There's a ball outside. This is, I believe, number 16. Who is 16? This is Lexi Dobbins. If I saw that number correctly, there's the pitch. It's a strike on the corner. And that is number 16. Lexi Dobbins pitching for Hamilton. 
And the pitch on the way. Swing, ground ball, left side, base hit. So the Braves have two base hits and two runners on. And we got a rally going here early. There's Coach Southward talking to Hooper down there who got that base hit from the left side. This will bring up number 25, Busby. And the pitch on the way. Swing and foul tip. Kind of one off the top of the head of the umpire. He says he's okay. If you don't do me any more favors today until later today, I want you to share this link that you're watching the game on Facebook Live with. Today's game brought to you by MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply, Highway 25 South in Belmont. There's a slow roller to the shortstop. Flips it over to third for the force out. And that'll be the first out. So Braves still have runners at first and second. Good job there by Hamilton getting that uh, lead runner there. Caitlin Center will be your next batter. And the pitch on the way. Low and inside. Runners at first and second, one out, top of the first inning, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a shot down the left field side is foul. Hit that one big time. One ball, one strike, and one out. Nobody... And yeah, scored right here. This is the top of the first inning. Tish County batting. There's a ball in the dirt. Runners advancing. The throw down to third. Runner is safely in. So Braves now have runners in scoring position at second and third with one out. Center with an opportunity right here to get the Braves on top. They're trying to get a split at the least here in Red Bay today. With well, the sun coming out nicely. It's going to be kind of a partly cloudy sky all day. It's going to be up in the 70s. Appreciate Jacks of Red Bay, Alabama for helping make this game possible. And they've done a, a lot of donations here at the school as far as some food and just helping out. So we appreciate you, Miss Osborne, and all the folks at Jacks of Red Bay, Alabama. Three balls and two strikes. One out, there's the pitch, swing, and a long fly ball left field. That one is going to be foul and out of play. Three balls, two strikes, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a fly ball to left field. Left fielder going back, settles in under it. She's got it. Red Bay, or rather, Tish County is going to tag up and come home, and the runner is safely at home. That's Hooper. So a long fly ball turns into a, a run for Tish County as they tagged up and come on in and score. There's your runner down at third base as she tagged up as well. So Caitlin Center gets the RBI. This is Overby, the batter. She pitched last game. And the pitch on the way. Swing ground ball to the shortstop. Throw to first in time of the out to retire the side of the Braves. Strand a runner, but score a run. We're going to the bottom of the first. It is one to nothing. The Tishomingo County Braves leading in Hamilton coming to bat. Goes Jerry Long and the Tish County Braves battling here. Trying to get a split after losing the first game today. You folks that are checking us out today, we really appreciate you. Trying to make sure more and more people know that the game is on the air today.
Braves are going to have number 21 out on the mound pitching in this game here. This is Caroline Buns. So Caroline taking her warm-up tosses at this time. Chase County leads one to nothing. We're going to the bottom of the first inning. All right, here we go to the bottom of the first inning. Kerr will be the batter. This is Matty Kerr, left-hander. Speedster, bats Matt left side. Gets on base in a hurry if she gets a hit. And there's a shot to the left side. That one's going to be foul. Just happened to join us. Tishomingo County scored one run in the top of the first inning. Nash and Hooper led off with base hits. Hooper ended up scoring. Nash was ended up forced out over at third. There's a call strike from Miss Bonds. Two strikes the count. And the pitch on the way. Swing ground ball, shortstop's got it. The throw to first. In time for the out. Hooper over at third base and down at shortstop. Making that play there was Brianna Brosey. Good job, Brianna. So with one out here in the bottom of the first, the Buns pitch is going to be outside. Busby behind the plate. For Tish County, this is Frost batting. Ashton Frost. And the pitch on the way. He is low in the dirt. Ball two. Sun popping back out. Beautiful day. Just a little windy, but uh, nobody in no overcoats and blankets today, I can assure you that. Got some light jackets on, maybe a sweatshirt or something, but it's uh, beautiful. Lots of softball all day long here in Red Bay. Yet baseball going on starting at 12 o'clock over the baseball complex, which is right across the way. And here's the pitch on the way. It is a strike call right on the corner. Pretty pitch there by Buns. Three balls and one strike, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a foul ball to the right side. And that one's going to be up too close to the fence. Nobody can't make a play on it. Frost batting here. And I think we got Peoples on deck. And the 3-2 pitch, swing and a mess. Boy, pretty pitch there by Miss Bonds on the mound, pitching for the Braves. That was nicely done. Overby over at first base in this game. Braves got Miranda Nash down at second base. So two outs. He pulls the batter for Hamilton. This is Hamilton Aggies in Hamilton, Alabama. Taking on your Tish County Braves. Braves lose the first game to the Phil Camel Lady Bobcats out of Phil Camel, Alabama. Five to one, the final there. And the pitch on the way. He is a strike call.
That one there just a touch outside, but uh, he was giving her that corner there. That was a pretty pitch, though, by Buns. We're right over the plate, so we can, we can tell pretty good as far as where the ball is over the plate or not. Two balls and one strike, two out, one to nothing, Tish County. Hamilton, Alabama batting here in the bottom of the first inning. Appreciate the great sponsors like Mac Wyoming near Tishomingo County Corner. There's a fly ball to center field. Center fielder is under it, makes the catch for the out, the third out of the inning. And that will retire the side. We're going to the top of the second. Your Tishomingo County Braves lead the Hamilton Aggies by a score of 2-1. to one. Today's game brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville and Iuka and Cherokee, Alabama. Also, Gatlin's Pharmacy down in Tishomingo. B&J Supermarket, Triple D's Bucket Service, Barney Brandon and Dustin Dick. John White, your attorney at law. By Iuka Animal Clinic with Dr. James Perkins. By Peyton Cummings, your Tishomingo County Chancellor Clerk. By the Tishomingo County Electric Power Association. Tiffin Motorhomes. By your hometown Piggly Wiggly in Iuka. Belmont and Red Bay. Grace Long Real Estate, 423-5555 by H&R Block of Iuka Red Bay Fulton. By Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent. By Iuka Discount Drugs. Iuka Monument Company by John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff. By Nunley Trucking Company and by Williams Service Center. And also a big sponsor of the game today, once again, Ronnie Cook, 662-423-8477. He, of course, is your modern woodman agent. We're live in Red Bay, Alabama. It's the uh, Tish County Braves and the Hamilton Aggies, and we are uh, live here today. I want to say hello to Mr. Tracy Bragwell out there. He says our broadcast looking good. Thank you, Tracy. Once again, we're on Facebook Live tonight and or this morning. Shalane Butler checking in with us out there, and let's see who that's Miss Anita Mitchell. Also, Miss Tammy Parrish Yarber checking in with us. Uh, Brother Nick Ray out there says, uh, happy St. Patrick's Day from a Hamilton High alumni. Appreciate you, Brother Ray. So there's Miss Mitchell and uh, Josh Bryant checking in with us out there. Miss Jackie Cranford checking in. Also, Miss Tatum Benford checking out. Thank you, Miss Tatum. Mike again. Uh, also, Michelle Ramsey James. And there's a ground ball to third base. They throw the first in time for the out as we're just underway. Tish County batting here in the bottom of the second inning. And I was kind of getting in a position where I could actually read some of those names for you. When that uh, Bailey Reese grounded out, score that one five to three. We're in the top of the second. What did I say? Bottom. Close enough, right? We're in the top of the second inning. Glad I got some folks up here to take care of me. One to nothing, Tish County leads. There's the pitch. And this is the world-famous Brianna Brosie. And the pitch on the way he is a ball. Hamilton folks groaning on that one. Two balls and one strike, one out. And the pitch. Swing and a shot to center field. Center fielder cannot get to it. It's overhead to the fence. And guess who's heading down to second base with a double. There she is, Brianna Brosey. Good job, Brianna. She got a hold of that one, did she? So with one out in the top of the second, Maddie Johnson will be the batter. And she'll be batting with a runner down at second base. Wind still kind of blowing left to right. Sometimes it'll turn and blow straight out. First pitch is a strike with the one out. Runner down at second base. Maddie Johnson's ready, and there's a ball. A call strike. Red Bay plays later this afternoon against Carbert Heights. We'll have that game on Facebook Live for you as well. So we've had two Red Bay games scheduled for this afternoon late and two Tish County games this morning on our live broadcast here on TV 12 and TV 97. Today's game brought to you by Hometown Pizza in Burnsville, Mississippi. Well, the 
got some great food, have not he? They got a location over in Iuka in Cherokee, Alabama. Swing ground ball. Shortstop has got it. The throw to first in time for the out. Good job out there by number 24. Fielding that one and getting it over to first. 24, of course, is Ashton Frost. Braves have got to number one, Albany Marlin, the batter. Albany played in the first game. She didn't bat. Had a, somebody batting in that first game for her. You know how they do these flexes and DPs and all that type of stuff, right? One ball, no strikes, two out. Runner down at third base and a ball inside. All by the Marlin. One to nothing, Tish County, and the pitch is a strike call. Two balls, one strike, and two out. One to nothing, Tish County in the top of the second inning, live in Red Bay, Alabama. Swing, ground ball, foul, third base side. Brosie down at third base. She had a double in this inning. Two balls, two strikes, and the pitch is inside. Three balls, two strikes. Hope you're enjoying the broadcast. Don't forget Facebook Live broadcasts on and TV 12 and TV 97 later. There's a ground ball. Third baseman fielded it well. Throw to first in time for the out to retire the side. The Braves will strand a runner. We're going to go to the bottom of the second inning. It's Tishomingo County leading one to nothing. This is WRMG TV 12 and TV 97 on location in Red Bay, Alabama. Once again, a special thanks to Jacks of Red Bay, Alabama being one of the game sponsors here at the ballpark. One to nothing is the score. So Bunge will go back to the mound for Tish County. So Hamilton will bat here in the bottom of the second inning. They're going to lead it off. With Ashlyn Frederick, she'll lead it off. So Buns is ready, and the bottom of the second is underway. There's the pitch. It's a little bit outside. Buns has got the signal. She'll bring it to the plate. Ground ball, base hit down the left field line. That got right by Hooper over there. Nothing she could do about that one. That one was hit hard. Into second base with a stand-up double is Frederick for the Hamilton Aggies, and they're in business here with a runner down at second and nobody out in the top, or rather bottom of the second inning. Katie Frederick will be the batter. She's number 14. Tish County's got a one nothing lead. And here's the pitch on the way. Swing and a line shot to the shortstop. Good job of Frederick to stay on the base down there as Brosie did a great job going up after that one. That'll be the first out of the inning.
Number 28 will be the batter. This is Graceland Ramsey for Hamilton. She'll be batting with a runner at second and one out. Here's the bunge pitch for Tish County. Swing and a miss. Caroline Buns, right-hander, wears number 21 for the Braves. She's sitting on a one-nothing lead out there right now. And the pitch on the way, outside. And here's the 1-1 one -one pitch inside. Good stop there by Busby. Two balls and a strike. And the 2-1 pitch, it's inside. Just missing. Three one count with a runner second and one out. Here's the bunch pitch. It's a strike call. On the corner. Didn't get much of it, but uh, the official said right there on the corner. Three balls, two strikes, and one out. And the pitch on the way. Swing at a ground ball, third baseman's got it. Hooper, throw to first, in time for the out. Runner heading over to third, she is in there safely. So now runner down at third with two outs. This is Kerr the batter. Ansley Kerr. Ansley pops that one up to the catcher, and the catcher makes it to retire the side. Hamilton will strand a runner. We've play, played two complete innings, and it's one to nothing, Tish County. We're going to the top of the third. All made possible by Harwell Parts and Service. Chad, thank you and all the great staff at Harwell Parts, 662-423-9892. Stop by and let Chad and the staff take care of all your parts and supply needs. Business hours, Monday through Friday is 7 to 5, and open on Saturday, 7 to 12. Harwell Parts and Supply, your CarQuest dealer, located 1102 West Quitman. Also, big shout-out today to Gina McNatch, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Also by Milligan Ready Mix, Old Highway 25 North, 423-6238. Also want to say thanks to Sitch Trading Company, Bush Hog, Zero Turn More Dealer, and your Landmaster Utility Vehicle Dealer, Sitch Trading Company, NIUCA. Two locations, Highway 25 South and on Highway 72. Big shout out today to Mac Wilm in your Tishomingo County corner by Davis Ford down in Fulton, Gatlin's Pharmacy in Tishomingo with Mr. Stanley Page and the staff. MTS and Mississippi 2 Supply, they're formerly Mississippi 2 Supply. Your custom sign decal and banner headquarters down in Belmont, 40 years in the business, 1 800 647 8168. It is MTS and also big shout out today to B&J Supermarket down in Burnsville, Mississippi. You folks that are checking us out on Facebook Live, appreciate you. Make sure you send us some little messages and let us know how our broadcast is looking and sounding wherever you're at today. We've had several folks uh, that are watching, and we really appreciate it. Oh, Zach Glover out there checking us out tonight, or this morning, I should say. Tish County batting here, and the first pitch is a strike. We're back to the top of the batting order, and Miss Miranda Nash to the batter. Tish County leads 1-0, top of the third. Swing and a shot down the left field line. That one's in the corner for a big base hit. It's going to be at least two for Nash. 
She's in there standing up down at second base with a stand-up double. She got a base hit last time, and this time a double. Well, she turned on that one and hit it right down the line. About a foot inside the bag. Stayed, stayed in fair territory all the way to the fence. Hooper now the batter. She shows a bunt from that left side, and she'll swing away. And she's got her hit down the left field line. The left fielder did a good job getting that ball back in. Nash is safely over at third. Hooper safely down at first. And the Braves got something going here. Runners at first and third. Got a big double and a base hit both to the left side. They lead one to nothing. Macy Busby. Throw down to third, runner safely back in. Busby can take it deep. You got insurance on that building? She might could put it in in it. There's a long shot to center field and that's off the, uh, the fence out there. It bounced and hit the fence. One run is gonna score as Busby is safely down at second base with a stand-up double. She kind of got that and off of the handle and still almost took it to the fence in right center field between the center fielder and right fielder. Rays lead 2-0, and guess what? Got runners at second and third with nobody out. Caitlin Center, the batter for the Braves. She'll be batting with nobody out. One run in, it's two to nothing. Tish County over Hamilton, Alabama. Swing and a shot to center field. Center fielder, it goes over her head to the fence. One run is in. Braves are gonna trot center into second base down there. Braves will have runners at second and third now. Hamilton doing a good job getting her back in, holding the Braves to one run each time. Overby now the batter. Macy Busby down at third base. And the pitch is a ball high. Center is down at second with that nice double. Well, she got a hold of that one, took it to the fence over the center fielder's head, straight away center. 3-0 Braves and a swing and a miss by Overby. She'd been pulling that ball a lot to the left. Coach told her, I believe it might have been even last game at that last bat, you know, try to go up the middle with it. And she took it over the center fielder's head. And the pitch, swing and a foul back. Nobody out for Tish County with a two ball, two strike count. Tish County with two runs here in the top of the third, lead three nothing over Hamilton, Alabama. There's a change of ball high. Number seven on the mound now pitching for Hamilton is Anna Grace Frost. And the pitch is a ball high, that's ball four. So Hamilton wants a timeout, so we got a timeout. Tish County with the bases loaded. They're going to have a meeting with Coach Jerry Long over here. And Hamilton will have a meeting out on the mound. I think they may be about to change pitchers. They're going to do some shuffling around. As Tish County has already taken a 3 to nothing lead. If you're after joining us on the broadcast, appreciate you being with us here today. We're live in Red Bay, Alabama on this, the Tishomingo County Braves Baseball and Softball Network today. Later today, like a 12 o'clock start, we're going to have Belmont Baseball and Red Bay over on the uh, baseball field. We've got Red Bay and Belmont. we got Belmont and Northside, and I believe Red Bay and Northside. So three big baseball games over across the way. And here, of course, we got two, two Tish County uh, softball games and two Red Bay softball games later today. All those games, of course, will be on our YouTube channel and also TV 12 and TV 97 and also uh, Facebook Live today as well. Thanks to you folks out there that are uh, checking in with us. Uh, Miss uh, Debbie Crane Kendall out there watching. Miss Michelle Ramsey James. Of course, Brother Nick Ray. Mike again, I told you, is out there. 
Let's see if we can scroll down. Tammy Parrish Yarber, Anita Mitchell, Listening Jack, thank you there very much. Shalane Butler watching. Old Tracy Bragwell's out there watching. We just saw him earlier down here. Tim Williams checking in with Purpose. Great singing group. Music Gaylor out there checking us out. Zach Glover. Lisa Overby watching. And who else we got? Elsie Malone and Kimberly Sherrill Moore checking in with us out there. We might have time for one more. Riley Floyd checking us out. Hey, Riley. Tish County leads three to nothing. This is Bailey Reese batting with the bases loaded and nobody out. Right-handed batter. Facing a new pitcher, number four. Her name is Ashlyn Frederick. Two balls and no strikes and the pitch swing ground ball to the third baseman. Third baseman's got it, the throw to the bag to get the force out at home. And it is successful. So that'll be the first out of the inning. Braves still lead 3-0. Bree Anna Brosi. And a strike call. Brianna took one to the fence herself. We got a one strike count and the swing and a shot base hit to left field in the hole between short and third. One run is in. That is center coming in to score. That'll make it a four to nothing ball game. And Brose is showing out with that base hit to left field. Hit that ball solid. Getting some encouraging words over there from Coach Southward. And the swing ground ball. Johnson, throw to the plate, it's wide, and guess what, another run scores. Third baseman bobbled it just a little bit, and then when she got it to the plate, uh, it was a little bit wide. She had to rush it, so by rushing it, it drew the catcher off the bag to field it, and the Braves scored a run. So, Maddie Johnson putting that ball in play right there. Albany Marlin will be the batter. She wears number one. Tish County leads five to nothing. We're in the top of the third inning. There's a pitch inside. And the pitch is a strike call. One ball, one strike, and the pitch on the way. It's a ball high. Two balls and a strike, one out for Tish County. They've scored here in this inning, uh, three to make it five to nothing. Over Hamilton, Alabama, ground ball, third baseman's got it. They throw to the home plate, and another force out. They forced out Bailey Reese on that one. We got number 11, Miranda Nash. Miranda's been swinging that bat nicely today. If my memory is correct, a couple of big hits in this game, a double and a single. She's batting with the bases loaded with two outs now. Breeze could use one more big hit right here. One ball, low strikes, and two outs in the pitch, low and in the dirt. Coach Jerry Long down at third base. Coach Southward down at first for your Tish County Braves. 2-0 count swing and a shot to left field. That one is curving, foul. Left fielder did a good job trying to get over but couldn't get to it. So that is a foul. Two balls, one strike, and two outs. And the pitch on the way. Ball high. Brandon Nash looking for that right pitch. And the pitch outside. Ball four. That'll score a run. And the Braves lead six to nothing as Brianna Brogy crosses the plate. This will bring up Hooper. 
Braves had a very successful inning. Lead six to nothing. Hooper batting for her second time this inning. Swing and a slow roller to the shortstop. Shortstop's got it. Throw to first in time of the out. Braves will strand some runners, but guess what? Lead six to nothing. We're going to the bottom of the third. We're live in Red Bay, Alabama on this, the Tish County Braves Softball Network. I'm Jack Ivey live on your Saturday. All made possible by B&J Supermarket. MTS, formerly Mississippi 2 Supply. Of course, they are your custom sign and decal headquarters in Belmont. They do have a showroom, by the way. 1-800-647-8168. Gatlin's Pharmacy. Thank you, Stanley Page. Thanks to Hometown Pizza and Iuka. Don't forget you can call Miss Brittany there. 662-593-3036. Carry out only. And, of course, they got uh, some great specials all the time. They got uh, pizza, pasta, cheese sticks, wings, got the hoagies. Now offering crustless pizza for the dieters out there that don't like all the extra bread. And, plus, they got a 20-inch party pizza. Open Saturday through Wednesday, 3 to 9. Thursday and Friday, 11 to 9. And closed on Mondays. Hometown Pizza in Iuka. Don't forget they're over in Burnsville and Cherokee, Alabama as well. Told you about O'Reilly Floyd checking in earlier. We got Calvin Smith. Looks great. Uh, could be louder. I don't. I can't control the loudness on that. I don't think there. Uh, Misty um, Malone Smith out there today. Uh, Lou Ann Osborne out there checking in with us. Also Vicky Jean Bain uh, checking out as well. If you're out there joining us on a broadcast, we appreciate you being with us. Move up the audio just a little bit there. Once again, if you're joining us, uh, make sure you share this link to your friends and neighbors to let them know the broadcast is on the air. Kevin, I upped it just a little bit. I'm not talking major loud here at the ballpark, but... Uh, Red Bay will play two games later this afternoon, and we'll have those games on Facebook Live. Right now we're in the middle of the second game of Tish County, their second game for the broadcast here today. Bonds is on the mound pitching for Tish County. She's facing number seven, Anna Grace Frost, the pitcher from Hamilton, Alabama. Tish County leads six to nothing. And the pitch on the way. It's a strike call. And the pitch, swing and a miss for the strikeout. Good job on the strikeout there. Braves trying to get a split. They lost game one to Phil Camel, five to one. This is number 22, Ryan Bishop for Hamilton. And the pitch on the way. It's a strike call on the corner. And the one strike count from Buns. Swing and a shot to right field. Right fielder can't get to it. That ball drops in. That was uh, perfectly placed out there by your batter there, Miss Bishop. So that's a base hit with the one out. This will ring up number 10. This is Matty Kerr batting now. Should be batting with one out, six to nothing the score. Tish County leads in that ball inside. Here's the bunch pitch for Tish County. It's low and outside. Busby making the good stop there. Two balls, no strikes, one out, runner down at first base for Hamilton. Batting here in the bottom of the third inning. We play a 75-minute time limit. And we'll finish the inning 
If the time limit goes off, there's a slow roller to the right side. Nobody covering down there, and she is going to be safely at first base. So runners at first and second with the one out. This will bring up number 24, Ashton Frost. If an inning ends, and let's say that 71 minutes have played, they will not start another inning, and the game will be over. So after 70 minutes, they doesn't matter if it's 75, they still won't start another inning. Timeout by Hamilton Batter to back out to kind of regroup. Just County kind of pretty much playing them straight up right here from left to right. Thanks for being on our broadcast here today. If you're watching on a TV replay, maybe you're watching on Facebook, there's a ground ball. Shortstop's got it. Going to have to hurry the throw to first in time for the out. Runner advances 0-3rd for Hamilton Aggies. And they'll have a runner down there with number 15 batting. This is Caitlin Peoples. She will bat with two outs, and Tish County leading by a score of 6-0. There's the pitch. A strike call. Appreciate Jacks of Red Bay, Alabama, being one of our corporate sponsors here today. Thank you, Miss Osborne, and all the great staff. They provided a lot of stuff for the tournament today, and they're always willing to help. We really appreciate them. There's a swing and a miss for strike two. Got away from Busby a little bit. She's able to keep it close by. We've about completed three innings here. Braves up six to nothing. Hamilton threatening with two out. They got a runner down at third. See what the Buns pitch looks like here. There's the pitch swing and a shot to the right side foul. We might get you a couple of the, well, I can't, well, there's a couple of Tish County folks. I don't know. You can see them over there. There's a the world famous Tish County dugout there. Coach Long, Coach Center, and Coach Southward, and Coach. This is good CG there. Here's the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a ground ball to the second baseman. Over to first in time of the out. Hamilton strands a runner. We've played three going to the top of the fourth. It's the Tishomingo County Braves leading in the ball game by a score of six to nothing. This is Tish County Braves fast pitch softball. On WRMG, brought to you by the Iuco Animal Clinic, Dr. James Perkins, John White, your attorney of law by Triple D's Bucket Service. Also want to thank uh, Peyton Cummings, your Tishmingo County Chancery Clerk. Also on a broadcast today is your Tishmingo County Electric Power Association by Tiffin Motorhomes on a broadcast today. By your hometown Piggly Wiggly in Belmont, Iuca in Red Bay by Grace Long Real Estate. And also on our game today is H&R Block of Iuca, Red Bay, and Fulton. Tish County leading it six to nothing. Are you watching on Facebook Live? We had about uh, 200 and, what did I say, 79 watching the last game. Not too bad on a Saturday morning. And more people can have an opportunity to go back and watch that game as well. We're live right now. We've got several folks watching. I want to say, Mr. Calvin Smith, thank you for being out there. We cranked it up just a little bit for Mr. Calvin. I want to say hello to all the folks that are watching us online at Facebook Live and also the folks that watch it on a TV replay on TV 12 and TV 97. Need to say hello to the world famous Anthony Lindley and the world famous Coach Richard Boyd. They're live with us here today. The Lindley man in the process of building this facility here, it's, it's coming together awesome. In a scheduled... Uh, completion date got just a few little odds and ends it's got to be finished before you can actually finish up like concrete need to get dry maybe that would help okay it's looking good by the way we're we're actually in it right now the brand new press box and new bathrooms and new concession area here's the pitch inside batting for the Braves
Macy Busby. Macy, ground ball, third baseman, did a good job stopping that one. Throw to first in time for the out. Macy hit that ball hard, but a good job down at third base. Got to be able to handle them at third base, those hot ones. And guess what the third baseman did? She did exactly that and threw Busby out. That's uh, Peoples down there. Great job. One out. And the pitch on the way to center. She grounds it right back to the pitcher. Throw to first in time of the out. So Caitlin is out on a one pitch. And this will bring up Overby. So basically a couple of pitches and a couple of outs for Tish County here in the top of the fourth. But the advantage is to them, they lead by a score of six to nothing. And the pitch on the way, ball high. 16 back on the mound pitching is Lexi Dobbin. She started actually the game on the mound. She's back out there. Swing ground ball right back up the middle. Dobbins couldn't get her glove down fast enough. That ought to be a base hit to center field by Overby. Bailey Reese, the batter, right-hander for Tish County. And there's a shot right at the second baseman for the out to retire the side. We're going to the bottom of the fourth inning. It's Tishomingo County still leading six to nothing. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12, TV 97. Today's game brought to you by Williams Service Center by Nunley Trucking. John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff by Iuka Monument Company. Iuka Discount Drugs on a broadcast along with Sid's Trading Company. Sid's, of course, is your Branson dealer. Monday, the I think the Belmont Cardinals and Red Bay Tigers will play in here. We'll have that game on Facebook Live as well. Hope you enjoy the broadcast here today. Buns has gone the entire way. She'll pitch here in the bottom of the fourth inning, leading six to nothing. Six to nothing, the score in the bottom of the fourth inning. We have got a six to nothing Red Bay tie, uh, Tish County lead here. Ashlyn Frederick, the batter for Hamilton. Swing and a miss. What young lady right on the mound there has pitched one great game. And the pitch, swing and a miss for the strikeout. Good job. All of her teammates coming out to the mound, congratulating her. Caroline Buns. We've got uh, number 14. Uh, this is Katie Frederick batting for Hamilton Aggies from Hamilton, Alabama. Tish County lost game one today by 5-1 to one to Phil Campbell. There's a foul to the right side.
Here's the Buns 0-1 pitch. Swing, foul ball. No balls, two strikes, and one out. And the pitch on the way. It's a ball outside. Now the count is one ball, two strikes. And the pitch on the way from Bun, swing and a miss for the strikeout. That'll be the second out of the inning. Not for sure exactly what time this game started, so we we still at least got probably got 20 more minutes or so of this game with a 75-minute time limit. Wind picking up just a little bit, bowing left to right. Buns is ready to go, and here's the pitch on the way. It's outside. Batting is number 28. This is Graceland Ramsey. And don't forget you folks over in Hamilton and Phil Camel, Tish County. If you'd like to get a copy of any of the games we do, they're available on DVD. 662-423-7602. 662-423-7602. And yes, we can mail it. There's a base hit to right field. Throw to first. She is safe. Right fielder got it in in a hurry. Johnson did. And that ball got out there in a hurry. So a base runner with two outs for the Hamilton Aggies. Back to the, this is Kerr, the batter, and she is hit by the pitch. So there'll be runners at first and second now with two outs. This will bring up number seven. This is uh, Frost, Anna Grace Frost. And here's the first pitch, swing and a miss. Hamilton threatening here with two out. They got runners at first and second. Tishmingo County leads six to nothing. Over the Hamilton Aggies from Hamilton, Alabama, here's the 0-1 pitch, swing and a miss. Reaching for that one. Appreciate John Dennis Darty, your Tishomingo County Sheriff, on our broadcast here today. And strike three call. She is down on strikes, and the Braves are out of the inning. A couple of runners stranded by the Hamilton Aggies. And we've still got a six to nothing lead. Tish County leads as we move to the top of the fifth inning. This is Tish County Braves fast pitch softball on WRMG.
And there's a first pitch to Brianna Brosi. We're live on WRMG. We're moving to the top of the fifth inning. Live coverage of Tish County Braves fast pitch softball. We'll have the Red Bay Tigers on Facebook Live and TV 12, TV 97 later today. Who y'all play today? At Carbon Heights and who else? Who are we playing? Carbon Heights and who else? And Bell Green, I believe. Sounds good. Yeah, sounds good. One ball, one strike, and nobody out. Swing and a shot to right field, base hit. Right fielder did a good job stopping that one out there as Brosie killed that one. She is swinging the bat nicely for Coach Jerry Long and the Tish County Braves. Maddie Johnson, is that who that is? Right fielder. Today's game brought to you by Todd Williams, Williams Service Center, and also Harwell Parts and Service. Nunley Trucking Company owner broadcast today, Iuka Discount Drugs, Gatlin's Pharmacy. And the pitch on the way is a foul ball. And the pitch on the way, ground ball, but first base side, throw to first in time for the out. Good sacrifice there by Johnson. Albany Marlin will be the batter. Appreciate all you folks that are checking us out on Facebook Live, watching Tish County Braves fast pitch softball. The Braves lead 6 0. We're in the Top of the fifth inning, Braves batting with one out and a strike to Albany Marlin. Rosie down at second base. And the pitch he is a ball high. Marlin getting a pretty good lead out there, or rather Rosie getting a pretty good lead out there. Thanks to you folks that watch our broadcast on TV 97. Also on our YouTube channel. Ground ball score that one six to three as she grounds out to the shortstop. Albany Marlin, we're back to the top of the batting order and Miss Miranda Nash now the batter. Two outs against Tish County, they got a runner at third, and there's a shot to right field. In there for base hit, right fielder lets it get away as Rosie comes to score. And Nash to second, she's on her way to third. There's gonna be a play, and she is safe at third base. Well, she took that ball to right field. She's had a hot bat as well. Coach Jerry Long talking to her down there. And this is and now a seven to nothing ball game as Hooper the batter. Hooper gets out on a base hit to left field. That will score a run. Left fielder stops it cleanly out there. Doesn't let it get by her. It was hit, I hit it hard. She actually bumbled it wrist a little bit. I mean, she didn't let it get by her because that ball was hot hit out there. And Hooper's on with another RBI and it's an eight to nothing Tish County lead. Macy Busby. Can I make a prediction? A home run right here? Okay. I mean, I'm going to get right. I'm going to predict a home run. And the pitch is way outside. Hooper will head down to second on the wild pitch. Eight to nothing the score. Top of the fifth inning. And the pitch on the way. It's a ball inside. Two balls in one strike. Macy Busby could make me look really good with a home run right here. Carly Lindley could make me look really good tonight with a home run for the Tigers.
And the pitch, Busby fouls that one to the right side. Two balls, two strikes, two out. Baseball action going on in Red Bay today. Belmont and Red Bay plays at 12 o'clock. Belmont north side after that, and I think Red Bay and north side right after that. So three big baseball games in town. And, of course, right here we got softball that started at 9 this morning. It's going all day long. And the pitch on the way he is a ball high. Busby now at three balls and two strikes. What kind of pitch will she get here from Lexi Dobbins? Runner down at second. There's two outs, three balls, two strikes, and the pitch on the way. Swing and a pop-up to the right side. First baseman got it in foul Terry for the out. Braves will strand a runner. We're going to the bottom of the fifth inning. It's the Tishomingo County Braves leading 8 to nothing over the Hamilton Aggies. I'm Jack Ivey live for WRMG TV 12 and TV 97. Big special thanks to Iuka Discount Drugs and Iuka Monument Company. Ronnie Cook, your modern woodman agent, 423-8477. Got some little kiddos around, maybe five, eight years old. Folks, you know you can get a $25,000 policy, life insurance policy, that will protect you and the kiddos. Uh, what would I tell you if you could get them both less than $90 or say $90 for the whole year, both policies? And we're talking about $3 or so a month for each child. So we're talking... Very, very inexpensive and also a policy uh, that's guaranteed not to go up. Gina McNatt, your Tishomingo County tax collector. Matter of fact, I think you guarantee that policy, uh, that amount for till they're 30. Milligan Ready Mix, thank you so much. Hometown Pizza Burnsville. I could eat some of that pizza and pasta, cheese sticks, some wings, and maybe some hoagies after I get a good nice salad there. They even got a crustless pizza for all you Folks that don't like all the extra bread there. I like all the bread I can get. Y'all been down to Hometown Pizza in Burnsville and Iuka? These folks sponsors. They got a location over in Cherokee, Alabama. We really appreciate them. Appreciate also Milligan Ready Mix. You gonna need some concrete? Yeah, you buy concrete from them all the time. They do a great job. Milligan Ready Mix on Old Highway 25 North over in Iuka. What about Sid's Trading Company? You familiar with Sid's? Done business with them. Would you buy a tractor from them or something? Bush Hawk. You know all these people I know. Are you kin to me? You're not. Well, I was hoping you was kin to me. Bottom of the fifth, eight to nothing. Tish County's Buns back on the mound facing a left-hander. That left-hander hits that ball, popping it up. Center fielder is there. Center fielder lost it in the sun. And the runner will stay down at first base. That sun popped right out. So this will bring up number 10, Kerr. I'm not sure who that was batting. That might have been Bishop that uh, popped that ball out. Center fielder lost that in the last second. The sun, that sun popped out really bright right now. Bottom of the fifth inning, eight to nothing. Tish County leads over Hamilton. Nice bun out in front of the plate. Busby will not have a throw down at first base. Nicely done there by Kerr. This will bring up number 24. This is Frost. Ashton Frost. You folks checking us out on Facebook Live. Your Tish County Braves leading 8 to nothing. We might even have some folks over in Hamilton, Alabama that's joined us on Facebook. If not now, they might join in later and watch it or on, watch it on our YouTube channel or watch it on 12 or 97. I'm Jack Ivey live here in Red Bay for Red Bay Softball. And the pitch on the way. Swing and a ground ball, base hit. And there'll be runners at first, second, and third for Hamilton. So Hamilton threatening here with nobody out with the bases loaded. So the bases loaded, you can be in trouble before you know it in a 
ball game. Right now, number 15 will bat for Hamilton. Caitlin Peoples will be the batter. So Hamilton with the bases loaded and nobody out. Right-handed batter shot to the right side. Throw to first from second base. Run will score. That'll make it eight to one. So Nash at first thought she might could catch it on a pop-up, but she had to back off at the last minute because that ball was going to hit her at her ankle, so she let it bounce and able to still pick it up and throw the runner out at first. But a run scores, one out now. Frederick now the batter. And the pitch bases are not loaded anymore. They got a runner at second and third. Ashlyn Frederick. And the Buns pitch, swing and a miss. Gets away from the catcher. The run's going to score, and she's in there safely. Got number 10 down there. She's got a lot of speed coming down the line. That's Kirk. That will make it a 8-2 to two ball game. I don't know how close we are to the... I'm going to say this may be the last opportunity for Hamilton. I'm not sure exactly what time it started. So one out. A runner down at third. And a 1-1 count to the batter. You folks that are checking us out on Facebook Live, I'm honored to have you on our broadcast. Don't forget, we'll be Facebook and Live tonight with Red Bay and Carbert Heights and also Red Bay and Bell Green. Here's a ball outside. Two balls and a strike as that was a ball. Buns has got the signal from Busby, the pitch swing and a miss. Hamilton with a couple of runs in here in the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, they got a runner at third now with one out. And the pitch on the way, swing and a shot foul down the third base side. Two balls and two strikes. And the pitch on the way. Outside. No, they, I said it's outside. He called her out on strikes. I do believe that one was outside, though. Ashland Frederick is down on strikes. Number 14 will be your batter. This is Kaylee Frederick. So that'll be the second out and the pitch on the way. Ball in the dirt. Nobody's going to move up. It kind of went out in front of the plate. Kaylee Frederick facing Caroline Buns. Tish County leads 8-2. to two. We're in the bottom of the fifth inning. This may be the last opportunity for Hamilton. I'm not sure how close we are. There's a throw down. They got her picked off, but Hooper couldn't handle the throw. And she dropped it, and the run will score for the Hamilton Aggies. It's kind of one of them, you got to catch it before you can throw it. Uh, she was throwing it before she caught it. Sometimes that happens in basketball. You need to catch it before you make the pass or whatever. You know how that goes. Or if you're a receiver, you need to catch it before you run. Sometimes it happens, right? One ball, no strikes, and there's a shot to left field. Drops in for a base hit. So Hamilton gets another base runner. They've already made it eight to three. Let's bring up number 28. Twenty 
48 is Grayson Ramsey. I guess that was uh, Kaylee Frederick that got that. Kind of forgot there for a minute. Eight to three the score, two outs, one ball, no strikes. Frederick down at first base. Ramsey, the batter here, swings and fouls that one back to the screen. One ball, one strike, and the pitch swing and a foul back. Also, big special thanks to Jax of Red Bay, Alabama, one of our corporate sponsors. Throw down to first runner safely back in. Two balls, two strikes, and two outs, and the ground ball foul down the third base side. The fielder for Tish County coming over to retrieve that ball and get it back in. I believe that's Miss Caitlin center out there in left field. Here's your 2-2 pitch coming up with two out, 8-3. Tish County leading Hamilton a swing and a miss for the strikeout. And the question is, that will be the game, I believe it is. Time limit is up. And Tishomingo County has won the ball game by a score of 8-3. 8-3 is your score. There it is right here. Teams will congratulate each other and hopefully have their prayer as they normally do. And this will wrap up our broadcast for Tish County Braves softball today. Don't forget more games coming up later this evening. We'll be on Facebook Live for that as well. So you folks down at Tish County, hope you enjoyed our broadcast. Our number is 662-423-7602, 662-423-7602. If you'd like to get a copy of this game, they are available on DVD. So once again, your final score, the Braves win it by a score of 8-3. to three. And they're going to have prayer, and then we'll wrap up a broadcast here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Joining hands with the Hamilton Aggies and the Tish County Braves. And once again, your final score, Tish County has won it by a score. Uh, was it 8-3 the final? Eight to three, okay. Eight to three, the final Tish County wins it. Once again, congratulations to Tish County on this big win. They split today, the lose to Phil Campbell, five to one, win this one by a score of eight to three. That is gonna wrap up this broadcast here on the Ivy Broadcasting Company. Don't forget, we got more softball action uh, coming up on our Facebook Live account. And uh, of course, you folks watching us on our TV replay and YouTube. Once again, an honor to have you on our broadcast here today. That is going to wrap up our broadcast for Tish County Braves Sports. I'm Jack Ivey saying thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time here on the Tish County Braves Baseball and Softball Network.